If you like the Google phone, but don't like dealing with Google software, maybe Graphene OS is for you. Graphene OS offers Pixel users something quite unique. An OS truly based on privacy and security. And while the idea of loading a different operating system might seem daunting, Graphene OS website really makes it all a breeze. So much so that this guide is more of an overview to show how easy it can be. They also have an active community and plenty of helpful people around there if you do run into any random non-standard situations. But with that, we start with the usual reminder to make sure all your data is properly backed up as this process will wipe everything out. Also, make sure to have a read through the guides over on the Graphene OS website. You'll need to be on the install page anyway, and it really helps cover some of the random gotchas. The main thing I'd say to be aware of is ensuring our browser and Pixel are up to date and not using incognito mode. Also, while the website does have a list of supported devices, it's expected that these are not carrier branded, as they can mess with the ability to unlock the bootloader. Now for the fun part. We want to start by enabling OEM Unlock in the developer menu. To access this, we go to Settings, then About Phone, then repeatedly press the build number down the bottom until the prompt appears. Next, we go into Settings, System, then Developer Options, and scroll down to OEM Unlock. Now we want to put our Pixel into fast boot mode. This can be done by shutting down, then booting up while holding the volume down button. This is probably the only annoying part, depending on your PC setup, plugging your device in. I often find some USB ports and cables don't play nice, so swapping things around can sometimes help. Then the drivers need to be installed depending on your device. If things just work, be happy and move on. Otherwise, check the links and make sure the latest Pixel drivers are installed. With everything connected, we can now hit the Unlock Bootloader button. This will require action on the Pixel to complete, scrolling down with the Volume button and accepting with the Power button. Notice the happy green locked text now being replaced by angry red unlocked text. Now hit the download release button, which will fetch all the required files for us. Neat. Once we've got all that, we can hit the flash release button, which runs through the install for us. Don't worry if the pixel restarts a few times, it's all normal and the process will happily run through without any further action on our part. Our final step is to relock the bootloader again by hitting the lock bootloader button. This ensures the OS is as secure as possible. As before, our angry unlocked text has been replaced by happy locked text. Now we can reboot and enjoy Graphene OS. First time startup should be all familiar and self-explanatory. Just look out for the final prompt to disable OEM unlock, which is selected by default. Leave this checked since we're going for all that security jazz. For extra peace of mind and completeness, we can compare the verified boot key against the ones listed. These hash keys will appear when things boot up pretty standard when a Pixel launches any alternate operating system. One final note, if you do want to return to stock Pixel OS at some stage down the track, there is a step to remove the non-stock key which was installed as part of Graphene OS. Just something to be aware of, but like the rest of the install, it's as easy as pressing a button. Otherwise, that's it. Graphene OS, 
a nice, sleek, dear Google, Google phone. 